welcome once again friends uh, we're talking about being revived uh, by god and um, walking with a stronger relationship with god uh, and we've been talking about being real we've been talking about being honest with god and um, also uh, inviting god to work in our lives at the very place where we are uh, of course uh, positionally we are the righteousness of god in christ jesus uh, there is no condemnation uh, against us because of what jesus has done on the cross uh, and yet you know as we live out this life uh, uh, in practical ways there are times where we see that we're not lining up to what god really wants us to do uh, and the right thing to do is to come back to god with an honest heart and say that god uh, would you help me reposition myself um, according to your word uh, and if we don't do that so we uh, run the risk of uh, not just straining our relationship with god uh, but you know we are unable to live our life to the full uh, i want to take our attention to psalm chapter 32 verses 3 to through 5 where the psalmist wrote when i kept silent my bones grew old through my groaning all the day long for day and night your hand was heavy upon me my vitality was turned into the drought of summer i acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity i have not hidden i said i will confess my transgressions to the lord and you forgave the iniquity of my sin now even hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 encourages us and it says that we must lay aside every weight and sin which so easily ensnares us so friends uh, in our honest walk with the lord you know uh, if we can come before him and confess the things that are not right in our relationship with him you know, it really brings us to a wonderful place where god can work in us and we see the apostle john writing to us um uh, many times and saying that if we deny if we deny the things that uh maybe you know may not be perfect in our relationship with god we are actually um you know not letting god work in our lives and that uh worse still we could be in a place of deception so instead of all that the way the psalmist said that he just opened up his heart to the lord and he invited him to come uh and uh, he didn't he didn't keep um uh you know his confession hidden but he brought it to the lord and let the lord work in his life uh and in fact um friends we see that even david you know david being a uh, a wonderful man of god a worshipper a warrior uh, we we talk about him and we are inspired by the, by him but being a human being we also see that he faltered and in fact some very serious sins that he got into and we see him writing psalm 51 where he comes back to god with that repentant heart uh, and he says you know god um search my heart and uh, do something do something uh, deep in me do something new in me and uh, in verse 12 of psalm 51 you know, he writes uh, and he prays to god and he says god uh, please bring me back that joy of your salvation and you know our god is a faithful god who can bring us back uh, to that position of great joy and great rejoicing in him if only we take our relationship with him very serious uh, and uh, we are honest with him and we come back to him even if we have um, you know made mistakes along the way so can we just look to the lord today and uh, call him to work in our lives let's pray together heavenly father we come before you lord with with uh, open hearts and father we pray god that as david prayed that you will truly search our hearts so god that father you would you would uh, see all the things there are in us god and bring us lord to that place father where where lord um we are able to receive your work in us father lord yes lord do a deep work in us cleanse us and position us lord for greater things in you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.